Hi! In this video, I'll describe what electric field is and how it's conceptually useful. So, you've been already told in other contexts how electric field is related to um, electric force. We told you that electric force uh, is given by some amount of electric field at some location in space multiplied by the charge. So, you have the formula, but um, you may not have sense, you may or may not have sense of what this really is, how is it specified, and why do we bother with this? <laughs> so, for example, imagine you have two charges. So, if they are both positive charges, then they will repel each other. So, we could describe electricity that way. But um, as people were working with electricity, they realized that this description is a bit limiting. So, for example, what if you have a single charge in space? Did anything change by having this charge out here? Uh, well, this charge is feeling no force, but we feel like something has changed by having this charge here than having no charge at all. So, this is what help, uh, electric field help us describe. So, when we are dealing with the force, we always have to deal with the interaction between two charged the uh, two charges or more. But with the electric field, what we can do is we can separate this into two steps. One charge can produce electric field around it, and another charge placed at a location of the electric field will feel the force due to the field. Let me uh, explain what I mean with the help of the simulation. So uh, this is a simulation, so I can do the thing that I was just describing. You know, I can have a charge here, charge here, and there will be repulsive force that will push the charges away from each other. So the question is, well, has anything changed by a charge being placed here? Well, we feel like it has, because before this charge was here, if I place, let's make a negative charge to make it interesting. If I place negative charge here, nothing would happen. But because we place the charge here, when we now place a negative charge here, it gets attracted. Or if we place a positive charge here, it gets repelled. So something has changed by having the charge here. Placing an electric charge in this empty space has changed the property of the very space around it. We, um, so we can sometimes measure, uh, we can measure this uh, change of the property using something called a test charge. That's what these sensors um, stand for. They stand for a small positive charge. When I place it here, this positive charge gets pushed away, and uh, that indicates that electric field here is uh, pointing away from that positive charge. I can place a few more sensors around. If I try to place them at about the same distance, you'll see that um, the, they are all pushed away from the positive charge at about equal force. So, but I want to emphasize that uh, this change of property of space didn't happen only at the locations where I placed the sensor. It happened everywhere. So what I'd like to do is show you what the electric field looks like. This tool has uh, something that lets me visualize the electric field. So let me uncheck direction only. So this shows electric field in two different ways. Each of the arrows tells you the direction of electric field. And you will see the uh, sort of opacity of the arrow change a little. When they are um, more transparent, so they look fainter, that means electric field strength is weaker. So that's what you see with a single positive charge. You see these electric fields pointing away from this positive charge at decreasing strength. And what that means is if I place another positive charge here, for example, then this charge will get pushed away. If I place it here, it will get pushed away in the direction of the arrow. Now if I actually place it, as in you know, put this charge down here, let it go, then that, these two charges together modify the electric field around um, them. So, uh, so this is the description of electric field. It's a way of trying to separate uh, what's the effect produced by a single charge the moment I place it, and an effect that happens later when I place a second charge. And um, that is expressed by uh, this expression here. That force, electric force, is the electric field produced by the first charge 
times the charge of the second charge that I place within that electric field. All right, um, let's see. Let me show you a few different shapes of electric fields. So I think I showed you one here, um, two positive charges. Um, this one is a little bit harder to show, I guess. Um, but okay, so this is what you see. You see um, these two arrows sort of pointing at each other. Now, if I place these charges carefully, so they are at about equal distance from one arrow, you see that I, the electric between them uh, almost goes to zero. That's because, well, uh, if I place another charge here, then the push from these two charges will balance each other out. So the electric field between these two positive charges is zero. Um, and they generally point away. Now, you get more interesting shapes if I place a negative charge here. This is what's called a dipole. And dipole produces uh, fields that look like these fields are moving away from the positive charge and going towards the negative charge. Um, so if I draw the electric field lines, it looks kind of like this. Um, the electric field lines will appear to be moving away from the positive charge towards the negative charge, away from positive charge towards the negative charge, sometimes throw arrows for that. So these are field lines that were introduced in the other uh, video. Um, you can get these field lines by more or less connecting these arrow, little arrows together that gives you these field lines here. So, all right, so that's uh, uh, it for the a description of electric field. Oh, let me show you one game that's uh, available at this uh, simulation website, fat.colorado.edu. Uh, by the way, this simulation you've been watching is called Charges and Fields. Uh, let me show you using the simulation called electric field hockey, what the actual effect of electric field on a charged particle is. It'll start to move. Uh, let's see, I loaded up simulation here already. So, uh, here's a here's my test charge. This is a positive charge, which can be moved around by other charges placed around it. So, for example, if I place a positive charge behind it, then um, you see this faint red arrow that's showing the direction of acceleration. Um, sorry, I think it's showing the direction of the force due to this positive charge. If I place a negative charge here, then you see the direction of the force due to this negative charge. And the net force gives you the direction of acceleration. If I just let this go, it'll probably accelerate this way. Before I do that though, let me just show you the field. So this is what the field looks like. So this positive charge will initially accelerate in the direction of the field. Uh, can I slow this down? Hmm. I'm not sure if I can. Well, let's see. Yeah. Now initially it accelerates in that direction, but very quickly it starts moving around in a rather complicated way. Electric field only gives you the, these field lines only give you the direction of acceleration, not velocity. So these um, can get very complicated very quickly. But, um, but this is what electric field does. So you see these electric fields pointing. So if I uh, pointing away from these charges, now if I place them exactly right, I can have them more or less balance out but very soon, oops, the charge moves away. Um, in the direction of the electric field, actually. So uh, at least something worked out right. So that's electric field. Um, it gives us a way of, oh, this is one of the ways in which it's useful. Suppose um, I have some combination of charges. Let's say positive charge here, positive charge here, uh, more positive charges here and here, for example. Now. If I'm trying to describe this with only force, then I have to work out each of these interactions each time. What if I made the puck negative? Then I have to work this out all over again. If I work with the electric field first, what I would do is I would figure out the electric field at the location of the test charge. Then all I have to do is multiply that total electric field with a charge that I will place there. That will give me my um, my my uh, net force due to all these four charges. So the way I placed it, they should more or less balance up, but eventually this should escape. Oh, maybe I place this so well that it's not escaping. Mm. Let me make it escape. 
Okay. <laughs> now, in three dimensions, that charge would have escaped um, through an axis that's perpendicular to the screen. But anyway, so this is the description of electric field. Um, I guess the one guideline I have is that I think when you see electric field, think force. All you have to do to turn electric field into force is multiply it by the charge. Now, if your charge is negative, so let me reset this. Uh, let me move it, remove one of the charge. So electric field is pointing that way. If puck is negative, so if it's positive, it goes in the direction of the field. If the puck is negative, then it goes in the opposite direction from the field. So, um, so hopefully uh, this makes what electric field is a little bit clearer. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, the video on electric potential is upcoming pretty soon. Bye.